Hey Jack, how are you doing tonight? I'm fantastic. It's my understanding that you were just in a little movie called Magic Mike. Well, it would have been great if I was in it. I actually did music for it. Oh, okay, there you go. <laughs> when you like to eat cheeseburgers, they let you do the music for stuff. <laughs> That's awesome. Now, tell me a little bit about the score of Magic Mike, then, since you're obviously so intimately familiar with it. Well, I actually got to work on both, oh, so awesome. uh, I was lucky enough to be brought back for the second one. And uh, they're always looking for something that has to be gritty because it's not a big budget movie. They want to keep it looking like it's something that some guys put together in Florida, so uh, it can never be too polished. It's always uh, got to be kind of epic sounding and obviously have a lot of sexuality and hard hitting beats. You know, Channing's a great mover and he's always wanting to like, crah, crah. so it's like sexuality mixed with like some real intense grinding. It's grinding. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, it makes sense. I was going to say, what what would be your biggest advice to somebody who wants to write music for men to perform strip teases oh, to? Oh, gosh. Well, first you have to watch a lot of it. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, I, I think that you just have to sort of put your put yourself in that place and try and make, try and keep it so that people are right in the middle of what you're, you know, what you're going for. Awesome. Also, I think with those guys doing what they do, it doesn't really matter what's playing back here. <laughs> <laughs> I could be playing the tuba and a thing, and no one really cares. All, all eyes are just on Channing Tatum. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for thank stopping you, to Anna. talk to us tonight. Enjoy the movie. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot.